Hi, in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to use Excel's XML Maps, which allows you to pull XML data into a spreadsheet from either a file or like a web service, for instance. And from there it makes it really easy to uh, use that data in your Excel applications. So like a previous tutorial, I'm going to do a city and state lookup based on a zip code that's entered. Zip code, city, state. Uh, but first, I'm going to pull in XML data from Google's Geocode API. So go to the Developer tab, click on this Source button, and you'll get the XML Source panel. Click on XML Maps, Add, and I actually already have the URL copied, and I'll put that in the description as well. So when you add this, you might get a message saying that there's no schema information provided with the XML file and just say, OK, that's no big deal. Click OK here, and you'll see it pulled in all the fields from the XML file. And the ones I'm interested in are type, and I'm going to do short name. Once you drag and drop those onto your sheet, right click, go to XML, refresh XML data, and you'll see that it pulled in the, the information we were looking for. So I'm going to do a VLOOKUP to get city, which you can see shows up four times. I've, I've tried a bunch of different zip codes, and it seems like it's either locality or administrative area level two. So you can check for both of those. I'll actually do state first. And uh, it seems like um, administrative area level one is pretty much consistent. Um, I mean, you can read about the uh, geocode API on Google's website. I'm sure it explains all these, but um, I'm just winging it. So state equals VLOOKUP. We're looking for administrative area level one. Columns A and B on sheet two is the table array. And we want to bring back column two, which is the state. And say false because we want an exact match. And there it is. Now for city, we have to look for two things, either locality or administrative level. So I'm going to say if is error, VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, locality, sheet 2, A through B, 2, false. Now if that's an error, we want to try and look for administrative, what was it, administrative area level 2. But if locality is not an error, then we want to get the locality. So just paste that VLOOKUP again for a false parameter. And there's our city. And the way we dynamically update this, we're going to want to monitor the, this cell right here for when someone changes the zip code. So go to formulas and define a named range. I'm just going to call it zip code. It's already populated. Hit enter. Let's go to the code window. Double click on sheet one, worksheet on the left, change on the right drop down. So we're going to make sure that the cell that changed is actually our zip code cell. If target.row, zip code row, and target.column equals zip code.column. I'm going to define a string for zip, and I'm going to set zip to the value of the cell. as string. I'm just going to check if the zip is five digits long and is numeric. So if the length of zip is less or greater than five or not is numeric zip code, sorry zip, then we know we have a bad zip code. Please enter a valid zip. Now 
Now the way to update that XML map is like this. So I'm going to say dim map as XML map. Set map is active workbook dot XML maps. And just say one because we only have one in here right now. So map has a data binding property. Say load settings. Put that X, put that uh, URL in there. And then where the zip code is, change that to zip. Okay. And we just need to refresh it. And that should be it. Let's see if it works. There you go. And that'll do it for now. Thanks.